Hey guys, welcome to Trinity's training page question of the day. Today's question is brought to you by Clint Isinox. Uh, Clint's question was he's having a, has a friend that's having some trouble with his dog uh, running some double marked retrieves. So I'm gonna kind of show you uh, what drill we do for that. Uh, Trinity's not really to that point yet. And you know, I don't really want to go out there and get a dog that's you know, running doubles or triples or whatever and show you guys how to teach this, um, which I guess would be okay to do that, but that's really not kind of what we do here at Trinity's training page. So when Trinity does get to that here in a, in a few weeks, we'll do that. But I'm gonna draw this drill out, okay? Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have uh, two gunners out in the field. We'll call this gun one, and we'll call this guy over here gun two okay now I'm gonna put my dog and my handler right here got D for dog and H for handler okay the way I'm gonna do this drill is I'm gonna teach this drill I'm gonna teach it as a memory double okay now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have gun one throw a mark right here okay and this is gonna be on extremely low cover uh, if I could get on a putting green on a golf course, that's where I would do it, okay? Big white bumpers or, you know, big drake mallard, something that's easy to see. And I'm going to send my dog after this, after this single right here, okay? All right, when the dog returns back to that single, I'm going to face the dog toward number two here, okay? And I'm going to tell that dog, mark. Sit, mark sit okay then I'm gonna spin my dog back around to where this memory dump this memory bird was picked up okay and I'll have my gunner throw again I, I like to try to get it to the same location if I can as close as possible and that's another reason that we use low cut grass is because you're not always going to get it in exactly the same area you'll get it close but once I throw this one again, I'm going to tell my dog here, because I use here to pull forward. And as soon as I have my dog to say here, they're going to be a little reluctant to pull off of this mark, okay? As I'm going to make pre-arrangements with my gunner. As soon as that bird hits the ground and the dog has about two seconds to look at it, maybe three seconds, I'm going to tell her or him, whoever's helping you, I'm gonna tell her to start going, hey, 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 real lightly, okay, over here at gun two, all right? As I get the dog turned and I get the dog seated, I'm gonna have them throw their mark right here, okay? And then I'll pick this mark up, and then I'll come back and I'll line this dog up to go to this bird, okay? If for some reason, the dog doesn't see the bird or, or whatever, which it should if you're on low enough cover and you're using visible enough objects. Um, if it doesn't act like it wants to go here or whatever, I'll just have my gunner go, hey, 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 and do a fake throw, okay? Uh, no bumper, just throw, you know, act like you're throwing a bumper. And then that'll usually get them to going, you know, to that bumper, okay? I'll do this exercise for, you know, about a week or so um, and getting them, you know, going pretty good on these doubles. If you, if you uh, look at this, uh, these marks, they're pretty much 180 degrees from each other. Um, you know, you can move up right here to where you're facing this way and then you turn completely around and face this way. But as I do it, day one, I'll probably be right here and I'll start out at day two right here, and I'll try to finish up day two right here, okay? Now day three, I'll be right here. I'll try to finish up day three right here, okay? Day four, finish up day four. Day five, finish up day five. I'm, I'm not sure how far down y'all could see that, but. Anyway, all I'm doing is I'm starting marks that are, that are like this, okay? 
and then I'm moving to marks that are like this and marks that are like this and so on okay all we're doing is we're tightening them up a little bit now as you back up you may have to adjust your throws I would probably throw here and here okay versus here and here that's just trying to set yourself up for failure okay I wouldn't throw these marks once I started backing up I would move from here to here to there and you know I would start making the marks wider um, you know further apart so that the dog has to you know remember the bird or whatever another thing that uh, you can do uh, is you can start doing what's called a bird in the mouth procedure um, once you get your dogs running with singles and you're going to see me doing this with Trinity here just in the very next few days on a single when she comes in instead of me taking that bird from her right then I'm going to line her up and I'm going to tell her mark and I'm going to have my thrower shoot and throw and I'm going to take the bumper from her and then I'm going to send her okay another thing that that bird in the mouth procedure starts to help with is it starts to help you with some steadiness because she knows you know she's got to uh, get that bird delivered before she can go get the one that's down in the field and you're going to see her make some mistakes and some of the common mistakes that they make is they'll take off running with a bird in their mouth and you'll just say no here you know and and then you know the next thing they usually do as soon as the bird goes off and it hits the ground they'll spit that one out and then you say no fetch you know she'll fetch it up and then you can take it from her and then you know it irons out pretty quick it's not rocket science um they figure it out pretty quick and then they start getting more and more steady uh like i was telling you guys earlier in this process this is uh such a slow easy steadying process the dogs pretty much steady themselves up and it's it's real reliable um it's it's getting better and better by micro steps with trinity on a daily basis every time we work and run marks and whatnot. Uh, we started our force to pile with her today. Um, that even is going to help you with some steadiness because anytime you can spend more time communicating with that dog, you're going to understand each other better. Uh, the next part of Clint's question was his buddy was having, uh, you know, problems with the dog no going on the memory bird of a double. Okay, well. Part of that, uh, I've gotten several of you guys had answered, you know, how to fix no-goes and all that. But first thing I think you need to do, and, and, you know, I may be totally wrong here. I don't know that dog. I don't know that dog's personality. Are they type A, type B, type C? Uh, you know, what kind of a marker they are and all that. There's a lot of unknowns there. Um, but there was a lot of good answers on how to fix no-goes and, and things to do to to help uh, Clint get this solved and yet I'm just the one that gets to put it on video and, and you know talk about it but uh, like I said there's a lot of experienced trainers on our page and, and y'all's information is always welcome but what I would do is I'm going to say that probably the reason that dog is no going on the memory bird is probably you've moved from low cover to a little bit higher cover and the dog's a little bit confused, but like I said, I, I haven't been there. I haven't been throwing marks for you. I haven't been running the dogs there. So I don't I don't know, but I'm just kind of putting things out there that I think could be the problem. So always simplify, okay? That's, boy, I tell you what, that is uh, one of the best words that there is for a dog trainer is simplification, okay? You can never make what we're doing so simple that a dog cannot understand it okay you can make it so difficult that they can't but you cannot make it too easy for them to understand so just kind of keep that in mind with what you're doing you know if uh if the dog continues to have problems like i said on the on the no going what i would do is throw the memory bird i'd throw the go bird and then i'd line her up and i'd go ahead and throw the memory bird again um, I wouldn't fake throw it if she's having problems. I'd just go ahead and throw another bird out there until you get it ironed out, you know. 
uh, and until you get that ironed out, you need to be right here. You don't need to work on day two, three, four, and five, okay? I just, I put those as days, but I should have said step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, and so on, but um, I think you guys understand that by now. Um, but anyway, I do appreciate your question, Clint. I hope this helps you and your friend out. You guys stay tuned. We're going to go get Trinity and get her going.